under our roof. You're free to enjoy your dreams. Bundle auto, home, and life and save up to 25%. American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at amfam.com. The Honda you want is here. Get a great offer on the stylish Civic or HRV and drive in the moment. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Why can't he see what he has right in front of him? Feel all the feels. Save big on romance books at thriftbooks.com. Go ahead, celebrate. After all, it was your idea to hire a freelancer on Fiverr. In one click, you found the perfect match for that project. You told them to change it from navy to ocean blue. No, that was all you. You can't go back now. It's just too easy to get every great idea done just like that. Fiverr, freelance services on demand. and sisters. In the year 1997 AD, when I was a young man, 15 years of age and in my sophomore year in high school, and residing in Kisumu City, Kenya, East Africa, I actually died one night in my sleep and came back to life in the very same night that I had died. Inasmuch as I had died and came back to my body, I did not even know that I had actually died and had an out-of-body experience, OBE until I shared my experience much later with someone else outside my family who understood what actually happened and was not a stranger to these kinds of real-life stories of people's true and unique encounters with supernature, be it through cult or occult power. It was apparent then, and even much later after I got confirmation from Jesus Christ of Nazareth himself, that I was a victim of serious witchcraft and occult power in my neighborhood. And had it not been for my regular and sincere prayers to him who is our Redeemer, our Lord and Savior, I would have been dead completely and would not have come back to life again. This out-of-body experience, OBE, changed my life forever even unto this day as it was by far. The most pronounced beginnings of my acquisition of the gift of the Holy Spirit of prophecy, casting out of demons, healing, reading of heavenly language, and even writing in the same heavenly language. Psychic reading or prophecy through the Holy Bible amongst others. It was during this first out-of-body experience, OBE, that he, Jesus Christ of Nazareth himself, revealed unto me who Baba Messias Simeon Melchior Ondeto, who is famed and recognized as the founder and spiritual leader of the Legion Maria of Africa Church Mission, truly was, is, and forever shall be. While I saw myself literally floating in midair in the bedroom that I was sleeping in, and my body was laying on the bed at the same time, I was seriously astounded as I had never seen or ever thought of such a thing in real life. In fact, I had never even heard of anything about out-of-body, OBE, experiences, or even heard such a phrase in my life, or come across such an acronym or abbreviation at all. Brethren and Sisters just as it is written in Hebrews 13 to 8 that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. It is also my testimony that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the same forever, and that the miracles and wonders that he has performed for me in my life. 
He can also perform for all his children who desire in him and his salvation wherever they may be, and in whatever situation or predicament they may find themselves in. Encased in this book is my story. Brethren and sisters, uh, I greet you all once again in the sacred name of our Redeemer, our Lord and Savior, uh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Of Nazareth, of whom I testify of to the living God, who is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow as we have seen. Uh, the Apostle Paul was not wrong at all in the book of Hebrews, uh, it is because he was given a true testimony that despite him, not even being one of the apostles who actually walked with Jesus Christ like the very first chosen 12, he now took upon his name to always remember him, to be obedient to his commandments, that he may have his spirit to be with him, right? right? And took upon himself, right, yes, yes the yoke of salvation. Mm -hmm the cross, the body of God in Christ. At that particular time, now he is saying that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow because he is a living testimony. His life is a living testimony of that. As I welcome you to this show today from here in Atlanta, Georgia, United States of America this morning, right? Yes. Can this be a story in terms of testimony? Okay, the question that always lingers in the mind the most, uh, especially for they who read my books, uh, uh, this is just one of them, and I'm forever grateful for they you tune into my show and also support me through my um, uh, my ministry as uh, the website appears over there. I always pray that the Lord allow you not only ample time right yes yes to share with him right yes yes the whatever you feel in your heart right yes but also rest to give you rest in this world just as he gave to the samaritan woman who chose who desired in her heart right yes to love christ upon knowing that she was actually having a conversation with jesus himself and apart from that also, she did not only keep that to herself, she was inspired to share her testimony with the world, even as I'm sharing mine today with you. As usual, brothers and sisters, uh, I welcome you to the show, and as usual in this show, we begin by uh, praising God in the Most High, right? And uh, praying for peace to all men of goodwill. And in so doing, we also right, just remember all uh, nations, tongues, and kindred who are still lacking <clears throat> right, yes, in their own testimony of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray so much, and in, uh, in our endeavors over here in the ministry, uh, we try our best to ensure that anyone who calls our number, who knocks at our door, who sends us emails, right, yes, who visits right yes right yes we never go empty-handed right yes yes if they were lacking in anything right yes that is one of our mission goals especially in this trying time so COVID. and because the lord made it clear that uh, my house will be called a house of order and uh, and a house of protocol for that matter uh, to satisfy the demands of those uh, i want to go ahead and uh, Start with a word of prayer, right? Before we dive into the so called meat and potatoes, in quotes, uh, of the subject matter, uh, which in the native language, the dual language called Kitor Manwaj, <laughs> of the subject matter of this show today. And uh, so we shall pray. Uh, <clears throat> Heavenly Father, um, through your most holy Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We approach thy throne of glory with fear and trembling. We thank you for the gift of fellowship, for the gift of life. We thank you that we're able to have time today in a very busy and chaotic world. 
As we do so, Lord, we ask for the presence of your Spirit to aid us, not only to understand the things that you want us to understand, but also have a mastery of what you desire for us to have in order that our bodies can be a true living sacrifice to the Lord, even as we read in this Romans chapter 12, words that came to, you, to us from you through the Apostle Paul and the saints of old. We ask you, Lord, to bless our brothers and sisters over here, their homes, heal them, the wounds that they have, right here. Bless their corpus, right here, so precious. Give them ample, right here, enough that they may, that their, um, <coughs> that their bank accounts never run dry, right here. This is a very trying, trying Lord cost of living is very high in different parts of the world but you made it clear that even lions can go hungry but they who believe and trust in you will never lie. I ask that you open your doors in heaven and the windows and supply them with the secret manner that you also promised unto us in the book of revelations in as much as they are true to your covenant that you kept with them right here that they may be a shining light a living example, and a true legend in this dispensation of time, that you are indeed alive, right? Yes, you care, and you comfort, and you heal, and you supply. We ask all these things in the sacred name of our Redeemer, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, with other way. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters. And uh, in the last uh, episode, uh, we ended up. Uh, discussing uh, the book of uh, Romans, okay, Romans chapter 12, and uh, because it's a series, and uh, I made it clear how the Lord made it clear unto me, right, yes, when I was completing the writing of this book, to in include the whole chapter of Romans chapter 12. I think it has 21 verses, but in there speaks volumes, right, the Apostle Paul is really talking to us, right, yes, uh, because he did not have time that much right, in his ministry, he decided to compact a lot of things, right, yes, right, in uh, <clears throat> a very, very uh, short uh, uh, chapter, <clears throat> right, yeah, 21 verses, not that much, but in there to understand them, right, yeah, you require sometimes maybe to look at other letters that he sent uh, how he wrote like unto the Ephesians for example right and then compare with what you have over here put it in context right yes then see how you can apply those things into your life the life of your loved ones or the life of those people who you influence in your own spheres of influence or in your own network those for whom being a true Christian, right, yes, really makes sense, even as that man we read the last time in the book of Cornelius. Okay, he did not influence only uh, his household, okay, but his story, okay, of he came into the word of the Lord and going to find a church that the Lord sent him unto, right, yes, impacted the world so much that today we read about it in the book of Acts. Would it not be a sign when sisters that when the Holy Spirit uh, actually talks with you, you yield to the enticing of the Holy Spirit and not put him aside for another day or procrastinate? And this is the essence of making a body a living sacrifice to the Lord. And so we ended up that time in, uh, you know, we focused on Romans chapter 1, oh, chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. And I said uh, on this show, we're going to focus on verse 3 onwards. And uh, from experience uh, <clears throat> in the Lord's vineyard, whatever the Apostle Paul was trying to cover <clears throat> or uh, the points that he was trying to extrapolate or espouse or, you know, be able to the minds of the saints at that particular time, that is, uh, it's better understood if you perhaps uh, read not only verse 3 alone, but combine Romans chapter 12, verse 3, maybe to verse 8. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and read Romans chapter 12, verse 3 to 8. 
because over there there's something I like to cover about the gifts of the Holy Spirit, even as I have experienced them, even as people have uh, requested me to actually be on this show, right? Yes, uh, who have experienced right? Yes, it's a, a testimony. Honda you want is here. Drive in the moment with the rugged and capable ridgeline. The Honda you want is here. Drive in the moment with the rugged and capable ridgeline, passport, and clubs. So print your team's signature style or seriously impressive merch. At Vistaprint, if you need it, we print it. With 25% off for new customers at Vistaprint.com. Vistaprint, we print your brand on everything, like t-shirts, hats, totes, hoodies, and ooh, really fancy water bottles. So print your team's signature style or seriously impressive merch. At Vistaprint, if you need it, we print it. With 25% off for new customers at Vistaprint.com. Can't he see what he has right in front of him? Feel all the feels. Save big on romance books at thriftbooks.com. Need a logo? If you're a doer like Olivia, check out Fiverr. Not a doer? Check out this gerbil eating a tiny burrito. Nah, you're a doer. If you're like me, then you like to get done. So when my tech startup needed a new logo, I went to Fiverr and got one easily. Excellent. It's simple. Just search, click, and you're done. Here, let me show you. Choose from any of the talented designers available based on the logo style you'd like. This designer's had over a thousand five-star reviews. That's what I'm talking about. I can check out her portfolio and see what she charges based on specific offerings. All of them are super reasonable based on the deliverable. And if you need a logo in a hurry, which we did, there are extra fast delivery options. Perfect. Now to craft a creative brief. I'll give them our startup's name, describe who we are, what we do, and our target audience. Logo ordered. And that's how you get it done. Now I look like a boss in front of my coworkers. Stop dreaming and get your logo at Fiverr.com. ministry let us wait on our ministering for he that teacheth on teaching for he that exhorteth on exhortation and he that giveth uh, let him do it with simplicity he that ruleth with diligence he that sheweth mercy with cheerfulness i stop over there <clears throat> So, gifts of the Holy Spirit. Uh, <clears throat> in Romans chapter 12, verse 3, here, uh, let me repeat verse 3 first again. Right, yes, sir. <clears throat> For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. Let me split it into parts first before I combine it. <clears throat> Thinking of yourself more highly than you ought to think. You know, I always think about uh, certain aspects of meditation in the Bible. And uh, I've been in many conferences and uh, uh, I've listened to many teachers. Right, yes, uh, the word doctor over there did not come overnight. <laughs> But uh, everybody has their own perspective, right? Yes, yes. What is more important when somebody, when you're reading the Bible, what you're getting from somebody, are you able to apply it in your life? Okay? Or are you able to internalize it in as much as it can help you to help another child of God to walk through their own journey or plan of salvation, right? Yes, without hitting snags 
or cogs in the wheel like that leads them in the right direction because other than that the, the word of god is not that useful thing yeah, even the book of james is all about faith which is a gift which we, we, we see over here that faith without action is dead okay and here the apostle paul is exhorting us to use them in according to the faith or the measured faith that we give them. right okay so when you are thinking about thinking more highly than yourself okay uh, many people right here uh, go to very serious study like you know metacognition yeah thinking about thinking and say it will start with the basics right over here like this what is the purpose as to why the apostle paul is talking about us this way <clears throat> the central idea here would be really just pride in it because then what is the danger right yes of thinking highly of myself okay in a previous episode here i tackled uh, what uh, many people have called the faith as the seven deadly sins right and uh, more often than not they'll be synonymous to what uh, the works of saint uh, thomas uh, <coughs> saint, uh, saint thomas aquinas right yes, saint thomas aquinas or uh, Pope Gregory the First, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah, Pope Gregory the First. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll mention them again. At the very top part is pride. Pride, envy, greed, lust, anger, gluttony, and sloth. Of particular importance, I want us to look at pride itself. King Solomon talks about it a lot. It is pride that makes it run faster than other people in terms of competition. And then also King Solomon makes it clear he saw many things in the book of Ecclesiastes. But Ecclesiastes 9 verse 11 makes it clear that the race is not for the swift. Okay. There's a bread for the strong. Right, yes. But the race is not for the swift. Right, yes. When I'm going through Romans chapter 12, slowly by slowly, dicing things to pieces because I know amongst my congregation, I see by the power of the Spirit that there are many today who do not have gifts of the Holy Spirit that much because they were rushing through this thing. Okay, right. Yes, sometimes I may not know that I'm thinking of myself highly. Why? Because pride has cogged the wheel of success. Mm-hmm. It has marred my vision, right? Yes. And sometimes most people do not know who they are, right? Yes. So then the question therefore comes how do you know? Or how do I know that I'm thinking highly of myself? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, because I teach sometimes, I used to teach Sunday school too. I used to teach uh, a long time. I used to teach from the age, I used to teach Bible class, Bible study. I remember one time I have a lot of friends who are bishops over here, of course, we totally because of what uh, you know the response from whoever I teach, right? Yes, how they react uh, and uh, how they feel in their hands and how they you know they practically change, right? Yes, this bishop forced me one day to actually preach in his church. But for then I did not say no because the word was I wanted to really go somewhere that day, but but I saw how his people were moved. Right, right, yes. But one thing, right, yes, I knew that I cannot say, I cannot uh, praise myself over there. You know, that you know, I did this, I'm the one who did that, I have this kind of accolades, uh, you know, I went to the school, right, yes, uh, because the environment, I, the, the environment in which i was preaching to okay the people who i was uh, you know called to minister unto right yes uh, many of them right yes right yes did not value academia that much but they were very very strong people in the world they did not value right yes you know the college degrees that much and I think it's because they did not have uh, a time or chance to do so. 
right yes right. so when i am talking to them i'm talking to them on the terms of who they are even as jesus was talking to all children of god right yes and using simple parables okay simple parables right yes okay he was not showing them that phantom he was not showing them that i am the crowns right yes but the the in the <coughs> teachings that he was giving was in accordance right yes yes to how the lady of the church right yes, was going to react okay right yes he did not want to offend them he did not want them to feel lesser of a human being that's the point of this show today in my service unto the lord right yes am i known to be somebody right yes who when I have uh, already orated whatever I have to orate, right? And then people feel very bad about themselves. They feel that they are incapable. They feel that they are losers. They feel that they are not worthy even of being there. They feel that they are, you know, they are some kind of outcasts. They feel that, you know, positive criticism is good. I always encourage positive criticism, right? Yes. But Sometimes positive criticism, right? Yes, does not work well when the timing is wrong. Mm-hmm. I say this today, brothers and sisters. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop here today. I'm going to cover verse uh, four, Romans chapter twelve, verse four onwards. The next episode, but as of today, right? Yes, uh, as I go through the week, right? Yes, let me ask myself, right? Yes, as I walk through in life as a child of does my character make other people uncomfortable unnecessarily? Right, yes, okay. Even if I'm doing the right thing, right, yes, yes. Is it offensive to other people? Because over here in Romans chapter 12, somewhere I think verse 18, the Lord made it clear unto us through the Apostle Paul to try to be peaceful with all people. He did not say one group of people only, but with all people, right, yes. It is my prayer, brothers and sisters, that uh, the Lord bless you, cover you with his uh, mercies, and the joy, love, and peace of having a true relationship with him. And as we ponder on what you have studied today, to aid you to become a better person than you were before. This I say in the sacred name of our Redeemer, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.